Welcome to the second lesson on stative verbs or state verbs. Um, please look at, uh, please watch lesson number one first if you would like to uh, have a little introduction. Today we're going to go into more detail. In the first part, I looked at the difference between look, which is stative very often, and look at or look for, and the difference between think that, which is stative always and think about which is dynamic and feel that which is stative and feel which is dynamic and really the difference it can be summed up in a nutshell right here state verbs are about opinions they express states of mind or states of being how things always are dynamic verbs express actions and I think that this applies for all of these verbs, really. I think you can follow this for all of these verbs and for these original examples, because how something looks is a quality of its being. It's how it exists. And so we just say um, it looks terrible or it looks great. Now, you will sometimes hear people saying this is looking or she is looking uh, gorgeous or um, you do sometimes see this one in used in dynamic forms and it actually sounds correct so I don't want to say it's wrong to use this one dynamically but it is in some situations wrong for example I, you, I had the example of French or German you would always say he looks French or she looks German you would never say is looking um, so it still comes down to these two points. Let's look at some other verbs and it should get easier and easier to see that this is very similar to simple and continuous. I mean, continuous is always when you're in the middle of an action, yeah? And simple is something that's always true. Well, a state is always true. So it's pretty similar kind of logic. Um, so firstly, the verbs of senses like look. If we're talking about the verb being used as an action, then uh, it's very often used in in continuous in a dynamic sense but if it expresses just a state of being then it would be used in a simple form so see for example now I see your point or I see him coming now you might say no it's I am seeing him no you can't say that you have to say I see him coming down the street so that would be see used in a state uh, in a um, at, to express a state something that's necessarily true if we use C in a dynamic way, it often changes its meaning a little bit. Um, firstly, we certainly can say it for future plans, future arrangements. I'm seeing him on Tuesday. I'll be seeing him next week. We can certainly use it in continuous forms with meeting somebody. And also, romantic meetings. If you say we've been seeing each other for a few weeks, that sounds pretty clear that you've been going out with each other for a few weeks. And so, C is used in a dynamic sense in that way. Um, so it's a little bit different from now I see your point. The, the meaning of the verb actually changes. Um, here, I hear that you have retired. Here, this, even though it was an action, we're using this verb in the state here. I hear that you have retired. But you can also change the meaning of it and say, are you hearing voices? And then it's used dynamically as soon as it's some kind of mental problem. The same with see, actually. You can say, are you seeing things? And then that would mean, do you have some kind of hallucination? Are you having a mental problem? So, um, yeah, you can use both this see and hear dynamically, but it changes the meaning. And the same with sound and taste, um, which I don't have time to cover today. Let's look at B now. And I think, again, we're going to come back to this when we look at just two very simple examples. He is sick. He is being sick. Very different meanings here. He is sick just means he is ill at the moment. This is his state of being. Um, but he is being sick refers to the action. It actually means he's in the toilet vomiting. Hopefully he's in the toilet, but vomiting. He's actually bringing up food. Um, so very different meanings between the the stat stative form of B and the uh, sorry stative form of B and dynamic form of B. Um, here is another example. I was exhausted. That's just talking about the state that you were in. And dynamically, now you are being ridiculous. We're talking about behavior here. And with behavior, we can use be in a dynamic sense. We can say you're being stupid um, or now you're being really clever. And certainly now you're being ridiculous. 
Okay, have, different meanings really. Have when it's possession, it's always stative. If it's possession, I have a car, I have brothers and sisters, these are states of being. Um, but if you're using have to to make an act to talk about an action like have a coffee or have a shower these haves are very dynamic and so you can certainly say I'm having a coffee or I'm having a shower um, wish and want are quite similar here most of the time these really are most of the time stative verbs okay they really are most of the time however you do see them very rarely being used in a dynamic sense in my opinion it's very often present perfect or past perfect continuous for both of them and then we're talking about the action of wanting or wishing so i wish i were were rich it's a typical regret but dynamic form i've been wishing for this all my life okay and there we're stressing the duration um for all of your life and we, we use this perfect continuous exactly the same here he's been wanting to do this for ages very common now that you hear this and it doesn't sound like a mistake and so it's being used dynamically by the way you know uh, I often say I'm thinking that but it really sounds like a mistake to me I don't like it you should be I think that this is correct and not I'm thinking that this is correct um, but you do hear you know these mistakes by natives quite often and i suppose they're just trying to think in a more active continuous kind of sense when we do it anyway um look at consider cost and agree and measure and it should be very clear again that when especially with cost and measure it measures three feet it costs 35 pounds this is a state but this holiday is costing me a fortune maybe you're on holiday at the moment and you've been spending money all day and you say this is costing me a fortune then you're speaking about the actual it is actively costing me a fortune um, it measures three feet this box or I am measuring the box then we're talking about an action not just as the state of how it is um, and consider consider <laughs> he considers this a bad idea this is just like he thinks that it is a bad idea but he'll be considering your suggestion well he'll be thinking about your suggestion so very similar to think that think about um, same with agree really if you say I agree with you it means I my state of being is in agreement with you but if you say I am agreeing with you look um, then you mean I'm nodding my head you know I'm I'm saying yes uh, you know um, pay attention I'm agreeing with you look um, so both forms are possible now it's the same with quite a few other verbs um, but generally speaking it's the same logic that runs through a lot of this not all of this but a lot a lot of this I think the C and the here is slightly different logic personally but uh, most of this is is pretty similar um, so try the exercises which I've linked to under the video the exercises are um, on a very good website which unfortunately hasn't been updated for a while but it's full of uh, really good questions um, and they ask you at random which is a good idea and it's got loads of great revision so please um, try this website and revise your stative verbs um, please like the video and uh, thanks for watching